What's up guys, Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. In this video, I want to showcase a weapon and the weapon is going to be the Chatterbox. The reason why I wanted to make this video is to try and convince you guys to use this weapon because it is arguably the best gun in the game at the moment. Not just for burst damage, but for sustained damage. This is due to the unbelievably powerful talent that this gun has to have massive RPM, and to just continuously shoot with never having to reload. And on an SMG especially, that's very important because even if you're reloading for half a second, you are missing out on so many bullets shot. And this gun in certain situations will out DPS and out sustain the Ouroboros SMG by a long way. This gun is my go-to for playing heroic missions. If I wanna get through a mission, a mission as quick as possible, I will use this beautiful gun and it not only looks cool but it has some great functions so let's go through it quickly in detail and then i can you know i can showcase some gameplay while i'm talking about it so please guys also make sure you follow me on x i will leave a link in the description for that i post there quite often also make sure you are subscribed to my channel right now and click that notification bell so this weapon has got the talent called Incessant Chatter. When you reload, rate of fire is increased by 20% for each enemy within 15 meters for the duration of that magazine. So basically, if there are five enemies around you, we're going to be getting a lot of RPM. And if you can kill that, an enemy without reloading, you get 50% of your magazine back. So you can continuously shoot without having to reload if you can get your kill in the right place and it's, it's also dependent on what the next enemy is that you're going to be shooting and how many rounds you you expended on the previous enemy but a lot of the times you will be able to actually focus through and kill the weaker enemies in a line and just continuously shoot them and never have to reload because reloading is a large part of what dps is so as if you're reloading you're not shooting you're losing damage so this is a great talent and I promise you right now, the RPM increase and the fact that we can just mow down enemies, this weapon is actually unmatched. If there are a group of legendary NPCs surrounding each other in a little clump, you will out DPS those enemies faster than any other weapon in this game. This is because of the fact that we have that juicy RPM and we can just continuously shoot without having to reload. So we can just keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. It's so handy and so exceptional. You guys need to go and try this gun if you haven't got it on a setup already. Try it. Go and crop this weapon. Go and get it. Go and farm the pieces. If you don't know how to get this gun, I think I don't really want to talk about that in this video because this video might be too long. Go on YouTube. Go on Google. You can go and get the components. You can go farm it. Just go and check it out because it, it might be a bit more in you need need an in-depth video to know exactly how to get these pieces because I don't believe it's in the open world loot pool and even if it is it's going to be very difficult to just get at farming SMGs or weapons so go and get that go and get this gun right now if you don't have it and give it a try it just feels really good when we are playing in any kind of DPS build especially with striker now the one I've got has only got five percent expertise so that's an increase in weapon damage now this gun has got RPM of 805 and a 60 mag, so it is quite powerful. Now, I do have some extra RPM from Striker, I believe, so just forget about that. So it gives you a rough idea of what we've got. I have got damage two targets out of cover because now we can reroll the attribute, so don't forget to do that. 10% damage two targets out of cover. This elevates damage significantly when enemies are out of cover, but they normally are because we're playing aggressively and they will actually pop out of cover even when you press them. So I've kind of explained it with DPS. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what kind of you know, com comparison are we looking at here when we, when we cross-reference or compare this to other guns like the Ouroboros? Now the reason why I'm not even going to really do an a, a in-depth comparison is because I don't think it's necessary. What I believe this to be is the Ouroboros is still going to be the best SMG all round. And, and if you just want to run into a mission and, and DPS focus a boss, because the only thing with the Chatterbox is, is if you only got one or two enemies around you, you're not going to be getting that much benefit from it. Whereas the Ouroboros will keep on par with that damage. So you'll end up doing more damage with this. 
So I, I still recommend using the Ouroboros for like, let's say you're focusing a boss or you're, you're only going to be focusing singular enemies. And it's not really just about what does the most DPS, what does the most damage. It's, it's all about the functional side of it. And that's why it's not only just fun to use, but like I said before, not reloading and just continuously firing is one of the most satisfying things to do in this game. And I want you guys to give it a try. And it may be more effective you may be more effective using this gun than the Ouroboros. And, it, and it's there's another side to this that I'm going to showcase shortly. I just wanted to talk about that. When you kind of do a quick little comparison, even though my Ouroboros is expertise 14, the damage is pretty much equal in relation to like shooting in the range. It's pretty close when I have a full stack of five with the Chatterbox. That's just because I've got high RPM. Because remember, when we take a look at the talent, a rate of fire increases by 20% for each of me. So that's 20 times five so that's going to be 100 percent extra so we're looking at over like 1600 rpm and we look at the ouroboros it's around about that so the rpm is pretty much the same but so we're kind of on par with the stacks but when we look at like focusing multiple enemies if if i'm using an ouroboros as opposed to this gun let's say it's fully stacked i will clear the enemies out way faster with the chatterbox because i don't have to reload it's that simple but there are other guns obviously that could be even better in certain speed running, speed running situations like lady death to get that speed boost increase it's all situational but i wanted to talk about this gun because it's just so satisfying and i actually made a build to kind of demonstrate something else for you guys so let's let's take a look at it here so this is a an oxidizer build that i use sometimes i change the backpack talent to something else or i use the exotic backpack that gives me uh, some uh boost in skill tiers when i throw grenades but this is going to be just a simple uh, chem launcher build. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, well, we're using capacitor. If you, now I understand we get a skill damage increase when we use the capacitor. But the funny thing about the chatterbox is, is that when you use this gun and when you are holding this gun and you reload and you get the boost in the RPM, when there are five enemies near you and you see that number five activate, you get an RPM boost to not only just the gun, but if you're holding the gun, and you swap to a chem launcher like the oxidizer or any chem launcher you can actually increase the fire rate of the chem launcher and shoot the chem launcher a lot faster and the reason why i showcase this oxidizer build is because oxidizer skill when you shoot it it stacks so the more oxidizer shots you put on a target location the more damage that area will do and it and it, it keeps escalating the damage so the quicker you can spam it the more effective it's going to be the, one of the highest damages you can do in an area is with the oxidizer and when you combine it with the actual uh, incessant chatter from the chatterbox you can shoot your chem launcher a lot faster even when you're trying to heal teammates i know you know with with the healing chem it's not good to stack it because you're not going to be doubling your healing when you shoot two chems it's more or less for for, for skills that maybe like maybe the fire starter or maybe the like i said like i'm showcasing now the oxidizer so it's just something i wanted to show you guys because this gun has more function than you can think of and i don't even know if we've discovered everything yet because in session chatter has got i'm sure a lot of uses i i do miss holstered talents but that's in the past we're going to move on now if you guys want to have a look at this oxidizer build let, let me quickly showcase it so it's going to be three piece empress this is for the skill efficiency because we want skill damage and skill haste when we get our chem, chems back as fast as possible so I've got skill haste and skill damage and skill haste modifications on every single piece. So skill haste mod on the chest, mask, and backpack. Then every single piece I've got here has got, for example, also skill haste and skill damage. Skill haste, skill damage. It's that simple. And then damage to armor is going to scale well with the oxidizer. So that's why I've got contractor's gloves with skill damage or you can put skill haste there. You can have a honey you with the perfect combined arms. So when every time you shoot, you get more damage. This is for if I'm in a group and I can't get a kill with the skill, but you can use tech support. That's fine. Skill haste and skill damage here. This also gives me skill haste, the honey you, which is very nice. And then you spam that. Then I've got glass cannon, chest piece. Make sure you use glass cannon with the oxidizer. Otherwise you don't do enough damage. Then I've got um, the skill damage from the wyvern, which is perfect. And when we look at the oxidizer stats here, I got 130% skill haste and it's just really good. Loads of damage, spam that chem with the oxidizer and it works great. The build you saw from the DPS part is going to be a four-piece striker with the striker's backpack. 
Everything's going to have crit chance and crit damage. All the modifications are critical hit damage. I've got the Coyote's Mask for close range crit damage. And then the chest piece is going to be an SMG. Sockle of Concern for SMG damage. You can use a Grupo. Just don't overdo it with crit chance. Then I've got Hazard Protection and crit damage. Because I didn't need that extra crit chance, but it's up to you. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Are you going to give this gun a try? Do you use it all the time? And hopefully you will go and get this and pull it out of your stash and give it a go from watching this video. So please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Peace out.